We really only mow our trails a couple times a year, so after we get done mowing, we'll go back through with our 15 gallon quad ball sprayer on our ATV, hit it with some weed killer and kill the vegetation. Now the nice thing about the quad ball sprayer line is they have a 15, a 25, and a 40 gallon sprayer. We use the 25 and 40 gallon sprayers on our side by sides, but this 15 works out perfect for our ATV. Now the Yamaha Grizzly rear rack is weight rated at 187 pounds. Your 15 gallon quad ball sprayer is going to hold 120 pounds of liquid, which is perfect for an ATV. Once you get into a 25 gallon sprayer, it's way too much weight. You're talking 200 pounds of liquid and out there on some trails and you're in an off camera position and it's sloshing around, it's just not a really good idea. And something I did was I customized mine. It comes with a wand with a 10 foot hose on it that you can do some fence lines and spot spraying with it which works out great but for me out on the trails I put a boom on and I have three different spray nozzles here so I can make one pass down through the trails and it makes a nice wide spray zone so that way it kills everything I really don't have to make another pass through it's lightweight it's poly tank it has a one gallon per minute pump on it. It has a drain access after you're done with your spraying, you drain all the liquid out. And that's something you wanna make sure you do. Clean it out really good, drain it, because if you let your liquid sit in there with any kind of uh, weed killer or anything like that, it'll draw mold and it'll kinda of get in all your pumps and sprayers and motors and everything. The tank won't rust because it's poly, but it will get in all your, your nozzles and pumps and it's just nasty. We use our quad ball sprayers a lot around our property. It's not just going out there and getting the weeds on the trails or killing the vegetation. We'll use it for pesticide, get rid of ticks around here. And we also take it out and water plants and trees that we can't get to because we don't have a water source nearby. So really the possibilities are endless when it comes to a sprayer.